Hi everyone. If you're thinking of selling or donating your old computer, or just its hard drive, you'll probably want to completely erase or wipe out the data on your drive first, so that they can no longer be recovered by anyone, especially if those data contain sensitive information. Deleting your files and emptying the recycle bin do not completely remove those files from your hard drive. The operating system merely reassigns the space to allow new files to be added later. The deleted files are still there and potentially recoverable until they get fully overwritten by new ones. So to protect your privacy, you can wipe your hard drive permanently and securely using one of the following three methods. You can either do full format on the drive, use a third-party software, or use the built-in reset PC tool on Windows 10 and Windows 11. The first two methods are mainly for wiping disk drives that do not contain operating system and therefore can be used for within Windows. While the last one is for completely wiping all your hard drives, including the one containing the Windows operating system. All right, so let's get started with the first method, which is formatting the drive with full format option enabled. This is the simplest and the most straightforward method, and it can be done from within any version of Windows that supports NTFS file system. But it's the least secure one because Windows will erase all the files on the drive permanently simply by writing zeros to all disk sectors. So to fully format a drive, on the File Explorer, right-click the desired drive, and then click Format. On the Format Drive dialog, make sure that you clear the Quick Format option to enable the full format and leave other settings with their default values. After that, click Start. And then on the Next Confirmation dialog, click OK to begin erasing your data on this drive permanently. This process may take several minutes to a few hours depending on the size of the drive or disk volume, so please be patient. Once done, if your hard drive is split into several partitions, you will need to repeat this step on each partition or volume. All right, now let's continue to the second method, which is using a third-party software. There are many free disk wiper and data destruction programs out there, such as KillDisk, DBN, CCleaner, Eraser, and etc. Some support wiping the drive that contains operating system, while others only support wiping data drive. For this tutorial, I will use Eraser, which is a free open source data destruction program that is very easy to use and supports several secure wiping methods, but can only wipe data drives. To get Eraser, open your web browser and search for Heidi Eraser. Go to the Eraser download page and then download the latest release version. Once the download is complete, install Eraser simply by following the installation wizard. Now to wipe a drive or an entire disk, you'll need to create an array schedule. To do that, right-click on the Array Schedule tab and then click New Task. On the Task tab, first you may optionally give the task a descriptive name, then select the preferred task type. For this tutorial, I will leave it manual, and then click Add Data. On the Select Data to Erase dialog, first set the target type to drive or partition. Then select the preferred erasure method. As a general guideline, the larger the number of passes, the more secure it will be, but it will take longer time and is usually unnecessary for everyday use. For this demo, I will just use pseudo-random data for faster speed. And then under Settings, select the hard disk or the drive you want to erase. If you select a hard disk and that disk is split into several partitions, all the drives or partitions on that disk will be wiped. After that, simply click OK and then click OK one more time. Since this task is of type manual, right-click the task and then click Run Now to start erasing the selected disk or drive. This may take several minutes to a few hours, depending on the size of the disk or drive being erased and the erasure method you have selected. Once done, you may delete the task and then close the program. Your drive will become a raw volume and need to be formatted to be usable again. So just do a quick format and you'll have a completely blank drive. All right, so now we've come to the last method, which is resetting your PC entirely using the built-in reset PC on Windows 10 and Windows 11. This method should only be used if you want to wipe the drive that contains your operating system, which also means that it can only be done if your PC still works. At the end of this reset process, you will have a PC with a newly installed Windows with no user data at all, just like a brand new one. To use the Reset PC utility, if you're on a laptop, the first thing you have to do is to plug in your laptop to a power outlet. Otherwise, the tool won't allow you to do PC reset later. Once ready, open Windows Settings. 
If you're on Windows 10, click Update and Security, and then Recovery. Under Reset This PC, click Get Started, and the Reset PC Wizard dialog will appear. Or if you're on Windows 11, on the Settings menu, click System, and then Recovery. Under Recovery Options, click Reset PC, and the same Reset PC Wizard dialog will show up. On the first Reset PC dialog, click Remove Everything. The tool will then ask you how you would like to reinstall Windows on this PC. For this tutorial, I will choose Local Reinstall, which means that Windows will first create a recovery image of my current system, and then use it to reinstall Windows offline later after the drives have been cleaned up. On the Additional Settings dialog, click Change Settings, and then turn on the Clean Data option. As you can read here, with this option turned on, the drive will be completely cleaned up so that it will be harder to recover your files. And then if you also want to erase all the files from all drives or disk volumes, turn on this option. As for the Download Windows option, since I chose Local Install, I will leave it off. And then click Confirm to use these options and go back to the Additional Settings dialog. Now, click Next to continue, and you will be shown a confirmation dialog. If you're already sure to reset your PC with these settings, simply click Reset to begin. The whole process consists of three stages. First, the Reset PC tool will prepare your PC for reset operation within your current Windows, which may take between several minutes to an hour. Then, the tool will restart your PC and wipe your drives. This may take a few hours, depending on how many drives you chose to clean up and the sizes of those drives. And then finally, it will reinstall Windows on your clean drives. All right, so that's how easy it is to completely erase your data on your disk drives permanently and securely to prevent them from being recovered. I hope you find this tutorial useful and thank you for watching.